What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Yama from The Common Hype. It's been a minute, like over a week and a half for you guys seeing this video. So I apologize for the lack of videos this past week and a half, but that's because we've been moving everything into our new Common Hype HQ. These shelves we had to build from the ground up. We had to bring all of our inventory from our warehouses, our storage units, and the old store to bring into this location right now. So we've been just handling so much inventory. We've been moving the past week and a half. It's just been nonstop crazy. Bryson's had to help with the move. Therefore, he can't go home to edit the video. So I apologize again about that, but today you're gonna get a sneak peek at the warehouse a little bit of the things that we've been doing kind of in the new shop to prepare for our grand opening a bunch of unboxings which you guys do not want to miss towards the end of this video because i dropped some absolute knowledge for you guys watching and that's it so i hope you guys do enjoy this video sorry again for the lack of videos but we're back on it right now so let's get into it sad day here because it's our last day we are officially closed today's thursday we had our last day yesterday on wednesday and we just emptied the entire store. It took about an hour, so not that not that long, but right now we're just kind of tearing this thing apart. And it seems like just yesterday we were putting it all together, getting ready to open for our one year anniversary, and here we are upgrading to a new spot and taking down our first home ever. So I wouldn't say emotional, I'm not really crying or anything, but sad. This is the last intro we're gonna have here at this shop. Uh, our lease ends July 31st. We've had a lot of memories right here. I don't know if Bryson's gonna do like a playback series of all the memories. We don't have time. No, we don't. I would love to make a, a cool little departure video, but we've been moving all week and this is going up tomorrow, so. Yeah, it's gonna have to go up tomorrow. So as you guys can see, all of our dunks and stuff in the back warehouse, actual warehouse and our storage units and our garages and just things of that nature. So here's all, most of the shoes are out right now, including everything from the display cases. We have to figure out what we're doing with these shelves right here. We're gonna take them down and kind of figure it out. We bought these two display cases from Ikea. Got these two things on offer up. The neon sign has to come down, which has been the staple for us. But right now we have to load all these shoes into a U-Haul, drive them all to the new shop. We just put shelving in the new shop. It's getting pretty close to being finished over there, waiting on a few things. The glass display case we just found out, we are going to be pushing the grand opening day. It may get done August 19th, the day before. We thought we had everything planned ahead of time, but unfortunately we, we just can't control what we can't control. So right now, if we're gonna transition everything to the new shop right now, are we just gonna film at the new shop? Yeah, it's just, forgot to mention it's pouring. Yeah, and of course on the day we're moving, it's pouring right outside, so everything's getting wet, so that's just awesome. Just our luck though, nothing new. At this point, we just expect that. So unfortunately, no longer gonna be in the shop. Had a lot of memories in here. A bunch of you people came to visit this shop and my like, holy cow, it looks so cool in person. If you thought this looked cool in person, just wait till you see store number two, HQ. A surreal moment to kind of see all the hard work we put into this store. Now we're taking it all down and we're transitioning it to the new spot. So boys, any last words for the new shop? I'm ready. Sad though. Steve? Nothing bad, just now I get to hang out with Mr. Brandon every day. <laughs> he only used to come in once a week, now I get to see him every day. Jays? Ditto with Steve. I was a little sad locking the door for the last time last night too. Sent it in the group chat, Bryson sent a crying emoji. It was sad. Filmed some bangers in here, Drew. <laughs> only great things in here. I'll say it, man. It is sad to leave, but it's crazy to think that we were here for a little less than two years. It, it, like Brandon said, it feels like we just opened that feels like we just painted these walls in here, put these shelves up, and now we're taking it down. And we kind of talked about it when we did our, our video at the new store, kind of just our budget for this place and how, you know, this was over budget for us at the time. And now with reinvesting into the business and just continuing to sell in volume and staying true to all the fundamental things that we started with, now we're able to, you know, take the success that we've had here and move it to a new location. So I'm excited. We're all going to be working in there every day. We've all been working from home for the last eight months, which is you know, you go a little crazy because you just can't escape work ever. So you're just constantly going and talking about it. But moving into the new store, I think we'll be able to separate our work and personal lives a little bit. Um, so maybe me, Drew, and Steve, you can all go find some girlfriends if they're out there. Hey, look, I'm handy. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the builder right there. All right, you guys, we just came back from the new store. I know Brandon just showed you guys the new store emptied out, which is really sad. It's officially now completely gutted. We just have to go back in and redo some painting. You guys can see everything behind me. Brandon's gonna get into that in a minute. They're currently shipping out some shorts from our drop this morning, so thank you guys for the support. It was a busy day yesterday. We had to get all this up and in the system, um, with the exception of some stuff right behind Tommy. Everything's in the system for now, so we gotta barcode everything, um, and we'll kinda update with you guys with those processes as we do them. But we're gonna do some unboxings. The so first unboxings in HQ. I'm not gonna show you guys any of the retail space, either of the studios, until the grand opening video, um, or more so the reveal of the store video. So right now we're gonna do some unboxings here here at Common Hype HQ, our brand new sneaker store here in Tempe. We're gonna start it off right here with a fitted hat. Damn, this is tough. Ever, hey, first unboxing ever in the store. A little pirate's joint? Mm-hmm. This is stupid hard. It's my size too. But ever since I shaved my head, I just don't uh, 
don't get the same fit on the fitteds anymore. All right, first unboxing. We haven't had a sneaker yet though. I think Brandon picked this one right here up on Whatnot. Shout out to Whatnot. We got a pair of Kobe's size 10. Wow, looks like we got a Mamba Cita right here. These have been going up, man. We sell a good amount of these too. Pretty good shoe. Can't go wrong with it. Kobe Mamba Cita's. All right, Pete. All right, we got a big box right here. We should have a good amount of pairs in this one. I would have guessed it's probably Bleach Coral Lows, but we're gonna find out. And we have some dunks in here too, so I'll show you these. Boom, so we got a Jordan 1 Low, the Mystic Navies right here. Super fire shoe, I actually picked up a personal of these. Need to bust them out soon, but you guys can shop these online, commonhypeaz.com. Our website is still open, even though the new store isn't open yet. We still are shipping orders out daily. They're still shipping over there, like I mentioned. So we got a big pack of these, and it looks like they're all gonna be Mystic Navies. Tommy, if you wanna show them. There's just a good grip in there. Looks like about a size run with some extras and a couple. Shout out to the seller that sent us these. Mystic Navies, can't go wrong. There's a microscopic note right here. It says, thanks so much for the love, homie. Hello, appreciate you. Looks like we got a t-shirt right here. I have no idea who it's from, but we got a t-shirt someone sent us. We appreciate it. This looks like a, it's a small. Probably fit Brandon. All right, we got a couple more shoe boxes right here. I'm gonna leave them up here, Tommy, because hit me with a fit check real quick. No, I was, I was keeping your toes out the Not whole time, sure, man. man. I had to let the dogs out today. Oh. All right, looks like we got a pair of off-white lot dunks right here. Brandon picked these up on whatnot, actually. Size nine and a half, lot number 48. Good shoe, I like the all, the, that's an Asian pair. Um, oh, or an Asia, Asia release, yep, I, I'm a fan of a lot of them. Again, you guys can shop those, commonhypebaby.com. All right, we got another fitted right here. Got a little stain on it. Mm. I have to contact the seller about that one. Yeah, another fitted. Is that olive or brown? It's a uh, brown. All right, last unboxing for the day. Looks like we got two pairs of Jordan 11 Cool Grays right here. One size nine and the other one looks like another nine or a 10. That's what the PO says. Yeah, we got a nine and an 11. These still sell for us. These dropped uh, holiday last year. Keep moving them, man. Cool Gray 11, can't go wrong. So that's gonna wrap up today's unboxings for you guys. Nice, short and sweet. We're gonna have Brandon kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of the, the new shipping station over there, um, which is gonna get moved. Everything is gonna be on this half of the warehouse and then all of their offices are gonna be against kind of this wall and their desks and stuff. So. Brandon's gonna give you guys a quick little tour. We had some boxes. Gotta do the unboxings at the new store. I was itching for it. it looks a little different packing orders now, ladies and gentlemen. Take a whiff around. A whiff? A whiff. I can't smell through the camera. <laughs> Thanks for being technical, Steve. This is a big shipping table. Shout out to Uline for supplying this entire storage unit for the price of nothing, because we paid full price for it. Try to get that promo deal, but it just did not happen. Yeah, by the time this video goes live, we may have common hype on Instagram. Wow. Cut that out if we don't though, so nobody gets any idea. <laughs> but this is the new setup. Right now, this is about 2,000 square feet. How much is back here? I'm gonna say two, closer to 2,000. Yeah, so this is about 2,000 square feet back here. And as you guys can see, we put all the inventory up. That took forever. We have all of the merch and stuff that we have, just apparel, shipping stations. This is not even close to what it's gonna be done because we're putting a huge conference table right here. That table's not gonna stay for shipping. It'll probably be rotated over here. We have uh, all of our office desk, myself, Drew, Tommy over here. So this is the current setup for today's short drop. It's gonna look a lot different next week though, but it's exciting stuff when you're going this big and we have this much room to just run around the store. You know what I mean? Thank you. My leg's a little sore. You know, I hit legs the other day. I don't know if you guys can tell, Four but uh, I hit it. Four days ago. Yeah, Steve hits legs too. Anyways, nice little setup. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I don't know if Brandon knows this yet or Bryson, but uh, Common Hype hit 20,000 orders today in the online store. Pretty cool, uh, congrats to the boys. No, I mean in Shopify in general. It's tracked orders since we opened, 20,000 of them. Just a quick recap of what's kind of back here. This is all, what is this? We have so much random stuff back here. This is a lot of extra shorts that we have, uh, a bunch of extra tees and stuff that we have. There's a ton of essentials in here. There's a ton of vape in here. V-Loan, Eric Emanuel shorts, just a ton of stuff that we bought in preparation for the grand opening. This is all stuff that we don't have in the system yet that we actually got to put into the system. These are all tees that we transported from the old store and we need to hang them up and put them on our new hangers for the new shop. More essentials right here, more essentials right here. We have so many essentials. All of our vintage stuff is right here organized for the online stuff that you guys see. We brought all the shelves from the new store because we might put some of these up in the shop on the retail display. Not gonna be the exact same setup. You guys will see that obviously in the grand opening video. Here's all of our shipping boxes. We got our single boxes or double boxes up here. Those are our new hangers up here, which you guys are gonna go crazy about because I really think that they look incredible. All of the store stock right here. This is all extra store stuff. What you guys don't see is that there's more layers behind this front layer right here. So we actually do have a ton of pairs. More Eric Emanuel, more random stuff that like blue lobsters. Here's a bunch of used stuff that we have to input into the system. So lots of room back here. It's very well lit. This whole thing bunkered down with security. 
ADT security um, cameras. Just, we're gonna have this thing hunkered down. We're actually already looking at it because this store next door is available. And we're just thinking with the amount of shorts that we're gonna sell next year, with the amount of winter stuff that you guys are gonna see that Bryson's whipping up, that's absolutely fire. We may actually have to tear this entire wall down and rent the space next door, which is another 1400 square feet, because that's how much we're growing right now. So definitely some exciting stuff. Over here, we have a bunch of fitteds I also picked up for the grand opening. Um, again, don't really know a lot about fitteds, but just exclusive fitted drops that have been happening with Hat Club and a bunch of hat retailers. We have some restocks on Believe the Hype shirts and staff, Common Hype staff tees. So if you guys are interested, be sure to head to the website. This is all the stuff that we sold for today's drop. I think we still maybe have some maroon shorts left so if you guys need some hit the website again here's our a bunch of our hats that we have back stock of desert rose khaki cream and navy one of our all-time favorite hats but these aren't going to be the same hats that you guys see for the grand opening because we have a full new array of hats yeah it's kind of the current setup of what we're doing so definitely exciting so awesome to have so much room back here and we don't have to be on top of each other 24 7 trying to ship stuff we can actually walk around have our own space so that's the most exciting part of it all right before we open these new boxes here in the store just want to let you guys know arguably my favorite shoe of the year i'm not kidding either this is top 10 maybe even top five. I don't really care about the resale price as much as I do as the overall colorway on this pair, but this is one of my favorite Jordan 1 Lowe's to ever be released. This is one of my favorite shoes of the year. So much so that we are dropping these for retail on whatnot today at 2 p.m. PST. You guys will have missed that, obviously, after seeing this video, but if you guys are interested in purchasing anything on whatnot, be sure to hit the link in the description down below. Also, if you want to sell on whatnot, you're a reseller watching this, you're like, hey, I'd love to get on whatnot and, and build my brand. Hit the Google form in the description down below. I'll personally take a look at it. I'll bet you and we'll get you guys started selling on whatnot. So one of the first boxes we have right here, we've got some gallery and chrome. These are all available on the website if you guys are interested in shopping, but more specifically, we will have these for grand opening of the new shop. Get the upside down gallery department trucker. You've got the chrome hearts, uh, F-U-C-K trucker. More truckers of gallery department. You've got the multi-color one with the white brand, or the white base. Then you have the like the neon yellow gallery, and then another one of the multi-color. You also have the green trucker that just has the department on it. So gallery departments, it's growing. It's more of an East Coast thing, but a lot of the West Coast people are, are finally getting more aware of it. And some of these tees are really hard to find. However, and I wish gallery department had a store actually in AZ or somewhere near AZ, but unfortunately I believe it's only LA. You have the white base, and the gray cracked gallery department logo right there. And then this one's kind of cool. It gives me F1 NASCAR vibes almost, but you've got the Beverly Hills, Los Angeles gallery department tees. So we got a full size run of those. We'll probably have a lot more clothing options for you guys at the new shop. The old store was just kind of testing a bunch of different clothing that we have, but now that we are becoming a huge brand and we want to carry stuff that you guys see at other stores as well. Chrome Hearts, Gallery, Anti-Social Bait, all that stuff we want to in stock 24 seven along with our own Common Hype Apparel. So just expect that when you guys come out to see the shop here in Arizona. Also, shoes. We've been buying a bunch of shoes. Obviously Yeezy Day is right around the corner, but that doesn't mean we stop buying Yeezys. Speaking of Yeezy Day. Oh yeah. It's funny you say that, Bri. Speaking of Yeezy Day, we just had a picture. It's been going viral as of recently. Unbreakable Kicks just posted a video and actually in his thumbnail, he has our Yeezy Supply stock. There's gonna be a picture on here somewhere. All these cook groups are claiming that they've got the Yeezy Supply stock. Well, if you take a really close look at that picture, maybe Bryson does a little zoom in, you'll see the Good Chefs logo in the background. We really are that group. We have Yeezy Supply stock now. We just added that addition. So if you guys are interested in joining Good Chefs, hit the link in the description down below because we're the only group that really has that. All these other groups claim to have it. They claim to have all these plugs. We really have the insider information on all that. That stuff and those things get leaked from group to group it's almost inevitable at that point but just know we are the source for all of it so if you want to join a group that's directly from the source you join good chefs isn't that right bean that's where i got my start baby join good chefs shout out to my boy walker kicks on this pack we've got a full size run of men's size military blacks now speaking of military fours has anybody seen the price <laughs> specifically have you have you seen the price <laughs> I want you to go on market. Have you seen it? No. Well, I want you to go take a look at it right I now. I think he's allergic to Specifically the grade school. Everybody's like, you're an idiot for buying shoes. We're in a sneaker recession. Shoes are going to go down. You guys are never going to be open to be able to open a store again because sneakers are, sneakers are just not, you know, you can't make any money off sneakers. There's no longevity in sneakers. Tommy Where they at? I was way, 260, I was way wrong. Tommy was in my ear about how we were in a recession and that nobody was gonna buy shoes, everybody was gonna he go buy gas. He bought 200 of them. Yeah, well, he bought 200 of at them. At what? What's our average cost, Tommy? Is that it? Yeah. 217. 
And they're at 260? Yeah, they're at 260. Let's and go, I've got I'm more. Let's go get some dinner after this. Yeah. Right, boys? Tommy owes me dinner for that. I would have bought more, but you know the reason I didn't was because he. So I actually blame him for losing another five grand, Yo, probably. He has 415 sold in the last three days. He just, he just didn't like get it. Shit. Gases are back to normal. Everybody's like, Brandon, you don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I've been doing this. All right, I am that guy. It's very simple. All right. Yeah. <laughs> even Johnson was like, I don't know. I'm gonna stop buying militaries. I'm like Johnson. That's a terrible idea. He didn't even believe in me, man. You this know who believed in you though? You. No. Oh. You. Oh, I did. Yeah. yeah. You're right. You're you right. believed in yourself. I believed in myself. And when no one else believes in you, who can you count on? Yourself. You look right in that mirror. You look right in that mirror, and you look at yourself, and you say, I am that guy. I'm him. I can be Timothy though. Yeah. Hemi Neutron. Yeah. Hemi Neutron. Hemi Kimmel. Uh, these are the last two military men's sizes, so I'm not gonna say anything again, but well, I'm, I'm not just buying military I'm men's sure to buy will. them. I will at some point, but I'm not just buying them to buy them. Speaking of not missing, speaking of missing, I should say, I definitely didn't hit these on sneakers. So this is an interesting shoe, just because prices have kind of steadied out. Johnson thought they'd go to under a thousand. I was like, I don't think they go under a thousand right now, but what I'm finding out is that there were a ton of pairs of these. Almost like a general release, 50,000, 70,000 pairs, somewhere in that range. So there's a lot of them. Now, the tier zero retailers, not a ton of them re actually release these for retail. Most of them got backdoored, of course, because it's, it's a huge shoe. So most of the stock came from sneakers. Everybody that you buy a pair from should have a sneakers receipt. And if they don't, they either bought it from a reseller or they've got fakes. The one thing I'm worried about for you guys watching this video is you buy this, you spend a thousand bucks on it and they're not real. Do your due diligence. We'll try and do as many legit checks as we can on them. If we get a fake pair, we'll educate you guys on why we think it's fake or why we know it's fake or whatever it is. But this is going to be a shoe that's good. There's going to be a lot of fakes and it's going to scam a lot of people and a lot of people are going to lose a lot of money on these. So please do your due diligence. Make sure if the price is too good, there's a reason why it's too damn good. You're not gonna find these for six, seven, eight hundred bucks, even nine hundred bucks is a stretch, unless it's a size 13. These are gonna stay over 1200 for the most part, and then they're just gonna climb come Christmas. So please be cautious when buying this shoe. This is one uh, I actually bought off a Good Chef member, so, and I know him very personally. I've done a ton of business with him. He hit on sneakers himself, so I know this is a good pair, but I'm still gonna check it because I wanna see if there's any flaws that come from sneakers because we gotta, we gotta know our stuff when checking these. So just uh, heads up for you guys. Now, this is a size. 12 so it's a money size if you like hey, them i think i might trade you my whole collection we do do trades at hq only but none of our other locations am i right guys i'm at the hq so why not see these i really hope you guys stayed this long in the video you're getting a lot of value here wouldn't you say brian <laughs> i would say all right another box we have from kevin let's see what kevin says in. so another good shoe slept on like the bleach coral lows these are the jordan one low mystic navies i don't know if these hit the same as bleach corals it's a great colorway, don't get me wrong, but in terms of value, long term, 200, 225, it's gonna take a while, but they will hit 300. Give it about a year, year and a half, I think. Don't know why they included these big boxes on both of them, but I think this is just a great shoe for anybody to have in their collection, because it's a cheap Jordan 1 low. And it's hard to find these for, you know, 175, 2, 225, 250 at local stores, so that's a great option for you guys. At 10 and a half and 11, we'll have a full size run of those during grand opening. Got a big box of Rejuvenator right here. Let me just show you a couple of the things we picked up from our sponsors over at Rejuvenator. So we got the full essentials kit right here. You guys can shop these online at commonhypeaz.com. You can also shop them at Rejuvenator with our bit.ly link down below to get yourself 10% off your entire order with Rejuvenator. Other than that, I think that's it for most of the unboxings. We're doing some inventory back here right now. We'll do a full inventory warehouse tour here within one of these next videos. Sorry it's taking so long to get a video out. We've been just nonstop moving the past couple of days and these next few weeks, you guys are gonna learn a lot of new stuff. So August 20th, is our grand opening of this store. We'll have a friends and family event the 19th. So if you guys are interested in flying out, coming out to the event, driving over, please shoot us a message. We'd love to have you, especially if you're coming in from out of town. Let us know that you're coming in from out of town because obviously it means a lot to us, but we want to make your experience as great as possible for when you come to Common Knife HQ. But other than that, Bryson's got that video to edit. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did, and we'll see you guys in the next video.